friends nips again out at the range today going to do a little bit of shooting i got a bunch of people uh, over at the pistol ranges and stuff so we'll hear a little bit of gunfire in the background but did want to get out and shoot uh, happy fourth of july everybody and uh, what better way to celebrate the fourth of july than getting out and shooting some uh, some old military uh, foreign military weapons only in the u.s right <laughs> but uh, the one we're going to be shooting in this video is uh, a Mosin Nagant that I've had for quite a while. And this one is uh, pretty heavily modified. It's got a curly maple stock, uh, ATI scope mount, tripod or bipod up in the front, and then a uh, bent bolt to uh, accommodate for the scope. But uh, this guy will shoot. <laughs> It's very windy out here today though, so I'm just going to uh, do some steel plate shooting for today. And uh, I do have a plate at 100 yards running right now with the camera on. So we'll shoot a couple rounds at that, maybe five rounds at that. And then we'll uh, I'll move my camera out to 200 and we'll see if I can hit anything out at 200 yards. So I'm just running my, uh, my own reloads here. These are... Uh, 762-54R, obviously, uh, with, uh, I believe these are 150 grain. Let's see, I actually have that right here. So these are 150 grain Hornady 3120 bullets. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you what the load is because I don't want, I don't want to get demonetized for recommending a load or anything like that, but it is a uh, Varget. Target uh, powder. So we'll go ahead and shoot. Uh, I also brought out my, uh, I've got my Astra model 600-43, my Walther P38, and my Egyptian Hellwan Brigadier out here. We'll do uh, another video on those pro probably after I'm done with this one. But So we'll go ahead and we'll shoot uh, some rounds at uh, 100 yards here. How'd I miss? I shot a dozen rounds before I started the video and I didn't miss one. I was shooting over top of it. I don't know what happened there. All right. So I knocked the... Uh... I knocked the... Uh... Strap loose. Hopefully I don't... Uh... Okay, I hit it. I'm gonna have to pause it and go down there and uh, hang that thing back up. Alrighty, I'm back. So this is the uh, trials and tribulations of live video shooting, I guess. But I keep the, keep the shots in there, good, bad, or otherwise. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually get some shots on target here. Yeah, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm hitting up pretty high here. I was aiming 
close to the bottom of the plate. That one was aiming almost at the bottom of the plate. Oh, you know what I did? I know what I did. I, uh, I tightened up my action screws <laughs> so that uh, gave me a little bit of flex on the... So, all right, that's fine. My action screws were a little loose and... Uh, get one more here on the 100 yard plate and then we'll move it out to, move it out to 200. Okay, now it's starting to settle in. All right, so I'm gonna pause it again. I'm gonna take the camera and move it out to 200. So that plate at 100 is, uh, I think, six by nine. The plate I have out at 200 is a, a 12 inch disc. So stand by, I'll be right back. All righty, friends, I'm back now. So uh, got my camera running out at 200 yards here. And uh, Hopefully my performance at 200 yards will be a little more uh, spot on than it was at uh, 100 yards. Uh, just uh, forgot I had tightened up those action screws and that usually does change the point of impact on these older guns like this. Uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can hit anything at uh, 200 yards here. I'm still hitting high. The whole time I was not filming and shooting out here, I was fi shooting without filming, the wind was almost non-existent. As soon as I start up the video, got about a 20 mile an hour wind going out here, so. That's better. I was. I'm still shooting over top of it, where my where I was aiming from before. So even at 200 yards, I'm all, almost aiming at the bottom of the the plate, and I'm hitting that was that was just above midline there. So I, my first shot, I aimed at the center of the plate, and it shot over top of it. So. So I could load in five rounds in this and shoot them just over and over again, but I actually just kind of prefer single feeding them. This is a fun gun to shoot. Such a pretty gun too. I hope the uh, tiger stripe and the maple uh, curly maple here is, is coming through. So other than my first shot uh, flying over top, I'm not doing too bad at 200 yards. If it had been a bad guy, I would have took his head off because I would have been aiming at his chest. But uh, there you go. There's five shots. Should I do one more? <laughs> I got plenty of reloads here, so. Oh, yeah. Getting her zeroed in now. Anyway, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'll probably post this up on the 3rd here. It's the 3rd when I'm out here doing this. But uh, happy 4th of July. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.